We are back here on Carolina Women. Our friend Michelle is here from the Bluffton Chamber. It's so great Hello. to see Wonderful you. Wonderful to see you all. Thank you for it's having a, me. Well, we're excited. Lots of new things going on. Talk to us Absolutely. a little bit about the Bluffton Chamber and what's new and exciting. Well, uh, as you can see, I'm here without Natalie, so uh, we have a wonderful announcement. We have a new addition to the Greater Bluffton Chamber of Commerce family. Okay. Natalie did have her baby. Oh, that's so um, exciting. A beautiful baby boy, and mother and, and son are doing well, so congratulations to her and the family. Hugs from us. So, yeah. um, we're really excited about that. So and this is a busy, 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 busy time for the Chamber. It is. <laughs> uh, we weren't expecting her to go on maternity leave quite so early, but uh, we did have um, our business expo uh, on the 27th of March, which was a huge success. Right. Um, so, uh, very fortunate for that. We have a great ambassador team and a lot of fabulous members that helped us pull it off when Natalie wasn't able to make it with us. But um, it, it was uh, such an, an eventful uh, day, um, mm. and the members seem to be happy. The sponsors are happy, so that makes me happy. Exactly. So uh, we have, a, you know, it's tapering off a little bit as far as the big events. In March, we had the Golden Oyster Awards, then we had the Business Expo. Uh, we always have our, uh, you know, reoccurring uh, networking events. We have one tonight, um, which is our Business After Hours, um, hosted and uh, sponsored by Coastal yes. States Bank in Love Bluffton. That. So. Okay. Yeah, so we're very excited about that. And of course, it's, you know, as it's progressing, we have record turnout uh, registered. So we're excited uh, to have that. Does the after hours change locations? It does, it does. So our regular uh, networking event is the second Tuesday of every month mm -hmm. um, and it rotates. So tonight is a business after hours. Next month will be a coffee and connections in the morning. So that nice. alternates every month. Yeah. And then the location changes as well every month. And the name of the chamber is the Greater Chamber. Greater, Greater Bluffton, Bluffton Chamber. So really, where all do you encompass? Everything from Bluffton, Hilton Head, Okatee, Hardyville. So we really take in, you know, a, a huge greater area of the Bluffton area. And you're seeing so much growth there now. A hundred percent. Actually, Erin, you and I, were, you were talking about the business development, just you live in Bluffton, what you're seeing. Every yeah. week we see something new coming. Well, absolutely. Coming when Talk you see, you know, I mean, we've all been here for so long. Yes. Um, and I, I noticed when I had stepped away for a few years and then came back, the growth, you right. know, it, you tend to see it when you step, step away, away and then come mm -hmm. back um, while you're here immersed in it, it doesn't kind of hit you right away. Um, but just, you know, being uh, in, immersed into this job and kind of doing my research, I've seen in the last 10 years, uh, business uh, licenses have just uh, grown by 300, over 300% 300 in the what, last 10 years. What do you all do to serve the businesses? Like what mm -hmm. is your primary goal in helping? So we like, we're, we're a homegrown grassroots chamber right. and we really focus on the local business community um, and, and supporting the local businesses. Uh, we like to refer to ourselves as the Chamber of Connections. Okay. And so oh, that's, that. that's our Thank main you. focus is to make those connections, help you build relationships. So the return on investment with the chamber is actually how many connections and how many relationships are you building in the Can community? I ask a question about the type of businesses that you're seeing? Sure. Are you seeing corporate businesses, larger entities, more entrepreneurial businesses, service industries? All of the above. Uh, okay. it, it really is a nice mixture, right. um, which, which helps. You know, the the we say the more established, you know, um, the ones that can invest a little bit more money into the chamber are really doing it to help the community, help the business community grow because it helps us fund our programming that helps the smaller businesses. Oh, that makes and sense. And get them off the ground and, and successful. And there's so many opportunities to collaborate yes. within mm -hmm. the community. Yes that maybe people don't think about until they join. Absolutely. And, oh, that's, that. and that's the connections piece that Absolutely. you're talking about. And it, it takes, you know, even if you're a well-established business in here, in, in the community that's been around for decades, it still makes sense to join our chamber. The chamber here, you know, the Greater Bluffton was established in 2012. Okay. But we have, you know, say for instance, the United Way. Mm -hmm. They've been around since the 60s, you know, of the right. United Way of the Low Country. And they're a strong supporter of ours. We 
support their uh, mission as well. They were a vendor at our business expo and they found it fruitful, you know? So even the, the more established businesses coming and connecting with the newer it's businesses. It's such that a are great current. way to stay current. I mean, it really absolutely. Because, you know, if you've been around for a while, it's easy to say, oh, we're established. We don't need those. But the sure new the new residents coming in, the new mm -hmm. businesses that are coming in, that, you know, the trajectory for the new businesses that are being established in Bluffton is, you know, astonishing. It's too bad we can't talk about anything. <laughs> we're out of time, but we look forward <laughs> no, to you coming back in a month. Thank you for having me. Thank you. Stay with us. There's more to come here in Carolina Women.